Hello, this is George from Microsoft and today I wanted to talk a little bit about how synchronization works uh, in MediaFX. So, we have a global settings menu and here we can set it to receive sync, receive transport, send sync, send transport. So if you set this to on, the receive sync, it means that the app is not going to generate its own MIDI clock. So if nothing else is sending clock into the app, nothing is going to work. You press play and it's not going to move because there is not uh, the clock. So make sure if you set this to on that you have a machine sending clock. In this case, we have the Digiton sending clock, which we received in the application. And then we also send because we want this clock information to go to other devices. The same with transport. Also, we have the MIDI endpoints menu, and here you can you can see all the different interfaces. In this case, most of them are virtual, but the important one is the iRig MIDI 2, which is the hardware MIDI interface I have connected to my computer. And here we can see that we are receiving from this interface transport and clock. And then in the destinations, you have the same and we are sending to both so it's important not to make loops in this case you have to do it device by device if you have different MIDI interfaces connected to different devices uh, synthesizers or whatever then you can set it so that each one maybe one is only receiving another one is only sending you can set it uh, that way in this case everything is connected to the same interface so we have to make sure device by device that it will not create any loops <coughs> okay so now i can press play on the digiton and it's going to to send the transport information and everything is going to start playing the sequencer on the application is going to start playing and you can you you will listen to the note and then also the monologue which is connected to the same interface is receiving clock and is receiving transport information so when i press play on the digiton it's also going to start playing a random sequence so let's hear it So as you can see, everything was playing in sync and you were listening to the digiton making drums, the little sound that the sequencer was sending to the digiton, also playing on the digiton, but triggered from the application, and the sequence that was playing on the monologue, which is programmed on the monologue, but playing in sync thanks to the, the MIDI clock sending and receiving feature. So that's it. Uh, this is something very basic, but I think it's important to know how it works because it's the, it's what makes it possible to create much more complex um, configurations and, and jams with uh, many different types of synthesizers. So thanks for listening and download the application if you haven't already. Uh, it's free to try it out and you can do quite a lot of stuff with the free version. Um, so you can try every module you can do a lot of things and if you like it now it's uh, at a big discount and yeah send me feedback send me problems you have ideas you might have so keep making music and have a nice day <laughs>